Now, remember this is the brother from home with the high school education. I showed you how to do the double pipe pocket. This, what I'm going to show you now, is a wealth pocket. This always was and it always will be. Once again, I outlined the pocket. This is the length of the pocket. This is going to be how deep it's going to be. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, now the reason why I put the line on the top so I know exactly, now it's been folded and creased, and it also has some interfacing. I put the interfacing because it makes it stronger. So, let's turn this pocket. Now, this is the way this pocket is turned. All I do is turn it. Now, notice I don't use pins. If you're comfortable, I'm going to put a pin in there and show you what I'm talking about. See, if you're comfortable putting a pin in there, put your pin. But I normally do not use pins. Sometimes I do on some things. Now, see, I've already marked where I'm going to stitch it at. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch it down. Tack it so it doesn't come apart. And I'm going to stitch it to my marking right there. And tack it back. And I'm going to do this side. Now, at this point, we're going to cut, put a cut where the pockets start. We want an angle going up. So it looks like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. the little tip off so I can turn the pocket in and get a cleaner edge. Uh, take my two fingers, my pointer finger and my thumb, and all I have to do is turn it. If I hold it on, I turn the whole pocket and turn it on the corner. Sometimes I use a pin if it doesn't always come totally where I want it to be. Okay. But I can get it that close, like that. Now, Turn my pocket out. Okay. Now, if I don't quite get the total tip out, I just take a little pin. Now, you have to be careful that you don't pull the stitch line out, see? And so I take that last little dimple out of it. At that point there, See, now my edge is already pressed in. Now I take my ruler and a marker because this is my stitch line. And I mark it. And I get my garment. This too, see when I finish this, it's going to sit on like that. So, what I'm going to do is the top of my garment, the top of the pocket, we want it to finish like that, but we sew it this way. Now, I'm going to put this on the edge of where I want it to be. And I'm going to 
stitch that down. Check my line, make sure it lines up. If you want to pin it, pin it. But with most fabrics, when you lay it down, it'll lay in place. Get it to my end. Now I take the facing, that's this piece here, and I will put it, and I will stitch it Now, this pocket is put in on an angle. If it was straight, if it was straight, then what I would do is, if it was straight, I would start stitching it right here. But, because it's going to turn back, because I'm going to cut this, I don't want to put it here because if I do, the cut will be exposed. If it was straight, it wouldn't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my stitching down here. And I'm going to stitch it about a quarter of an inch. Tack it. And once again, I'm not going to bring the stitch all the way to the end there. I'm going to stop it a little short. So, now I'm going to cut my pocket and my wedge out. Here's my end here, so I'm going to cut it to a little pie shape again. Then, if, to a lot of people it's easy if you get up and you press this down, I can take my fingernail and kind of get it where I want it to be by just scratching along the edge, and then I push the pocket in this way, and this one in this way. Put a top stitch along the edge. Make sure I got everything in line and in place.
That, my friends, is a welt pocket. W-E-L-T. This is a welt pocket. The other pockets that I make is a Beeson pocket, but this is a welt. Now, the last thing would be, would be to bag it. But that is a welt pocket. I hope you will enjoy seeing how we do it in industry. Because what I teach is industry standards. And I tell people all the time, this is the way it's done in the industry. When you go into a store and you buy a garment, this is the way they finished it. That's your well pocket. I thank you once again for being with me. Stay tuned, because I got more to show you guys.